QuickBooks Online 2022 Sales by Customer Graphs. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Online in our browser, searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Going into the test drive, we're going to be looking for the United States version of it here and verifying that we're not a robot. Sample company, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services, holding control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that one, two, five percent. We're also going to have the free 30-day trial version open just so we can take a look at the business view, comparing it to the accounting view. If you don't have access to this at this time, that's okay. We're just using it for a reference. Back to the sample company, we're going to be opening up a few tabs. We can put some reports into, right-clicking on the tab up top to do so, and we're going to duplicate that tab. Back to the tab to the left, right-clicking again and duplicating again. As that is thinking, I'm going to jump back on over here to the free 30-day trial version just to see where the reports are located. They're going to be in the business overview, and then they're in the reports. If you were to change to the accounting view, you could do so by going to the cog drop down and go into the accounting view. You would have a similar view to what we're looking here at in the sample file. Back to it, the sample file that is. Then we're going to go to the reports here, which is in the accounting view. Reports on the left hand side. We're going to be looking first at, let's look at the profit and loss report this time, the P to the L report scrolling back up top with the range change from 01 01 to 1 to 12 31 to 1 and run and then we're going to close the hamburger go to the tab to the right and now we're going to open up another report that's going to give us more detail on the sales information breaking it out by customer going down to the reports on the left hand side and hold let's close up the hamburger scrolling down who owes you no sales and customers so that's what we want and we want to break out the sales i want the sales by customer but just the summary because i want to use that data to make a graph out of it make a super cool graph graph thing so let's go up top and do the range change here from 010121 to 123121 and run it So there we have it. Now this should break out our information on the income statement as we've seen in a prior presentation and do so by customer as opposed to the income line item. I do note down here that it's a little bit off. The 10,280.05 is not quite matching up to the uh, revenue line item, which is 10,277. So we got to take that into consideration and that could happen because we might have posted something to a revenue account that didn't have a customer related to it or something like that, which we talked about in a prior presentation. But when you make your graphs, you want to keep that in perspective because, of course, someone might ask you, they might not be satisfied with just the colorful colors of the graph and they might ask you, hey, the thing doesn't sound look like it ties out. You want to know what it ties out to on the financial statements, in other words. And we can also make an adjustment to it in our pie chart to make it you know, tie out and whatnot uh, so that we can we can have everything working exactly the way we want it to be. So let's check out how we can do that. Going back on over, we're going to export it to Excel. That's what we're going to start off doing. Drop down to do so. We're just going to export to Excel and then open it up in Excel. You might be asking, do I need Excel to open it up in Excel? Yes. Yes, you do. So here we are in the worksheet and no, I'm going to put it in our other worksheet over here so we can practice printing it and so on. But if you don't have this worksheet, that's okay. You can do the same thing where we're at uh, in, the, in just when you download it. So I'm going to add a new tab and let's put this tab to the right in our super worksheet here. And this one is going to be, what did I call it? Sales customer graph. Let's call it data. It's a data tab. It's a long description. Does it have to be that long? It, it is what it is. We'll keep it there. So then I'm going to copy this whole thing, putting my cursor on the triangle and then copy, right click, copy the entire sheet going back on over to where I want to put it. You got to be on A1 or select the entire sheet or else it won't fit because you copied the entire thing. So I'm going to right click and uh, paste it. You might think that the sheet go on, goes on forever, but there is an end. There is an end. The Excel world is flat. You'll fall off the edge. 
at some point if you keep going to the right or down. It's just okay. So now we're going to say that's going to be our data. I'm going to I'm going to cut some stuff because I just want some stuff that I can make a graph out of. So I'm going to put my cursor on one and go down to the column five and just right click and delete that stuff. Trim it out of there. And if I mess anything up, it's okay because I could just download the graph again. So I'm going to, I'll check it when I'm done. This one has a subtotal because it's got like jobs in it or something. I don't want that. So what I want to do is make this the line. Now this one has a number in it, a formula. Don't want the formula either. So what I'm going to do to get rid of the formulas is take the whole column, copy it, control C or just right click and copy and then paste it back on top, but just the values only only the values that's all i want i just want the values so there it is so now it's just a value number so now i'm going to delete the total over here get rid of the total and then i'll delete the sub stuff don't need that stuff sub stuff from seven to nine right click delete to any other of those ones here's another one i don't need the subtotal so i'm going to get rid of the total just i just want the customer name and delete these two from 18 to 19 the whole row i'll just take it and delete it and then i might say well did i mess anything up let's resum it up let's hit the trusty sum function the most famous function ever in excel that no one will ever surpass the sum function in popularity usage and just general uh, enjoyment 10,280.05. if i go back then to to our report is am i still tied out to it 10,280.05 i am indeed as well as in thought indeed closing let's close this one out. i don't need this so then i'm going to do some formatting over here so notice this is formatted at arial 8 so i'm going to format everything like the standard excel formatting and then format it the way we want to format it so i'm going to do that by hitting the format paintbrush and then paintbrush e the triangle which is the entire worksheet right click on the entire thing format the thing and by formatting the cells and then going down to currency brackets red dollar sign gone no decimals i don't need no stinky decimals and then we'll close this back up so there we've got it i don't need this this thing at the bottom that's not net get the foot get off of my foot kick it kicked it right out off my foot so then we're going to go so then then we can just add you know the pie chart again to our standard thing obviously this will be a long a large pie chart let's get rid of the total two the total two needs to go you two total totally two needs to go so then let's add let's make i like to make this into a a table first go into the insert and tableizing it by going to the tools tableized and then okay so then this is going to be the customers and they call them two amounts and then we're going to we're going to sort it in the table from z to a highest to lowest well that's the wrong way that's from a to z z to a there we go and then i can make this into a pie chart but it's too many too many data points but let's take a look at it right now and see it what it looks like if i did it this way insert just to check it out pie chart pie chart give me the pie chart there it is closing getting rid of the title i don't need the title and so let's too many there's too many slices like i like you can't feed someone that slice right there they're going to be too, that's not even worth cutting because it's not even worth putting it on a plate right it's too small so what we're going to do is maybe count like 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Everything beyond that we'll put in to one line item. So this adds up to the 2, 5, 4, 6. So I'm just going to make this one 2, 5, 4, 6. Call it other, others, others. I could spell others. That's not a hard word from 12 down to 23 right click and delete it should still add up to the i think that 10 281 sounds familiar now let's add the pie chart see if it's more reasonable in terms of the slices that people could actually get some fulfillment from hitting the pie chart and there it is pie chart get rid of the title 
And then again, you might want, I keep on going for this one here. But how about this one has no, you can, you can add the, the labels afterwards too. So if you like the look of this one you can, and you want, the, you want the actual percentages, you can add the percentages over here. But I won't go into that in detail because uh, that's taking a lot more time. How about something like this? Then now you got the percentages in here. There's still like a little few too many, too many percents, some small slices. So you might say, eh, maybe, maybe I go down to like here. Let's make like these ones. 39306 nine, so 3906 and let's delete the stuff under that one delete and make this one other so those are some pretty decent sized slices right this one's getting awfully large with the other category but you know you can play around with it something like that that's the general idea and so then we've got that one and then uh, we can also Put that on a separate tab but before we do you might have like i say you might have someone if i total this up and you might have someone that's that like i say is not satisfied with just the colorfulness of the graph and they actually are like wait a second that 10,281 doesn't tie out to we don't even have the numbers over here so maybe they wouldn't even see that but if, they, if we had the numbers over here they'd say maybe that doesn't tie out to the amount on on here which is 10 which is on the income statement income was 10 to uh, 200 10 201 or something like that so you got 10 201 so of course you could you know the difference you could put into other up top so you could say okay I'm just gonna take this minus this minus the 80 and then if I was to add this up we're at the other of the 10 201 so just be aware that you, if you're going to ask what people asking you questions about the data source and so on, and not just being satisfied with the colorfulness of the graph and wanting to know the data, then you, you know, you want to be able to explain it. So then I can, then I can, I can make another tab and we could put this, we can put this on it so we can call this the sale customer graph. And then I could just pull that graph possibly by cutting it over here maybe and then i like to make this landscape but sometimes it's been picky i have to like check it out and then go back into it to make it landscape there it did at that time and then i can make this larger so there we have that i can go back to the other tab we could also make like a standard bar graph or i could ask the system what would be what do you think is a good graph by going here and saying recommended graphs why don't you just tell me what you think excel in terms of graphing and so here's all the stuff they come up with. I'm not sure what that is. That's interesting graph, but I still think this standard or this one is the best. This one's a little bit different variation. So let's pick that one. It's Almosa. So we'll take it here and we're going to say cut it. Let's put that over here too as well. And I'll put it down here in the next page. So there we have it perfecto just like mundo would do it and mundo's a perfectionist you know mundo he's a perfectionist perfecto mundo and then we're gonna so then if so then i want to hide this data tab so i can print it out so i'm going to right click and just hide that thing and then i got to be somewhere over here not on the grass not next to the hidden cells so that i can use the cute pdf printer to just print this this entire thing out at this point printing it out with the cute PDF printer, not just the active sheet, but the entire work book, 19 pages we're at right now. We're building like a novel of a workbook. This, this thing is a monster. So if we go all the way to the end of it, which does take some time because there's 19 pages in it, there's our graphs. Here's some of our graphs. I should have put some titles on. I think that's the new one and that's the new one. Woo, let's go ahead and print it out and it's going to save it as a PDF because we're using the PDF printer to print it out and so it takes a little bit of time because there's 19 pages it's there it is there it is we're gonna put it right here in the in this one yes and then let's open it up open it up and check it out you gotta open it up to check it out so then if we go all the way at the bottom, there's our new graphs at the bottom, all on this one report. We put it in landscape, but it still opens vertically. And it just looks, 
it just looks superb.